Welcome back to Unit Operations Part 3, where we're going to pick up where we left off, creating a nonconformance. I'm going to enter 890, and I am see that I'm out of spec. So the next tab that I can look at here is the nonconformance tab. And this is where, because I'm out of spec, I'm going to create a nonconformance. So I'm going to click on this. And here is where I select the particular serial number that I'm working on. Now, of course, in this case, I'm only working on one serial number at a time. But if I were um, working on multiples, I could I could see them here and select the ones that are non-conforming. So I'm going to type a non-conformance here. And uh, I'm going to choose the defect type. And this I'm in welding, so I'm going to pick the welding shop. And then I'm going to pick the reasons. And I'm going to pick from a series of reasons. I can have up to four levels of reasons. And I can apply those. And then I can enter some additional information. OK. Now you'll notice that this is rich text. So I can enter, I can bold information. I can change the size of the font, um, whatever I want to do. Uh, in future releases, we'll also have the ability to put pictures in here as well as videos. And you can even annotate the pictures. That's coming shortly. Now, for now, I'm going to submit this. And you'll notice that that particular item goes away. And it's no longer shown on this list over here. Now, if I go back, I'll see that it is on hold, and it's right here. OK? So as an operator, I move on to the next item, and I work on it. All right, now let me show you how we'd clear that nonconformance. There's another app here called Nonconformance. I'm going to pick that. And I'm going to, um, if I show, showed all open items, I would see the list here. And you'll see here's the one that's nonconforming that we just worked with. Now, this particular one, if we, um, you'll see we have a list here. What I can also do is I can, I can enter a non-conforming item. I can enter a serial number, a lot, um, a non-conformance number, work order number, plan, a material, even material family, or a receiver number. And I can find that particular one here. And it basically, on this left side panel, it built a queue for the quality technician to work on their items. Of course, in our case, we can also just click on show all the ones that are open right now. This list could get big though, so this allows you to work on things of your choosing. You can also put them in your queue by just clicking on it. And so now I've done that. And here I can see all the nonconformance information. I can see that um, the history of it, who created it, um, et cetera. And I can see uh, when it was created and so forth. So if I want to clear this nonconformance either by uh, scrapping the parts or what, whatever it might be, I can hit this gavel right here and I can enter a disposition. See, there are a number of dispositions here. And in this particular case, I'm going to use the use as is disposition. There are a number of other, other dispositions that come out of the box, including continue to process, rework, material review board, and so forth. Uh, we'll focus on use as is right now. And here I would select a reason and I can uh, do that. And then I can enter additional information here um, for the operator. Now, this is the instruction that that operator could, needs to perform. So we'll go ahead and click Save. And you'll see that our status has changed to a gray complete uh, closed disposition. Now I can go back over to my operator screen. And notice that it brings me right back to the piece of equipment that I was working on. And it's now this particular item is here and ready for me to work on again. So I'm going to go back into it. I'm going to enter some more quality data here just to get through this. And you'll see my badge goes away. I can look at the nonconformance that I had. You can see that it was entered here. I can look at the um, history of it. I can view the nonconformance. Uh, and, and I can then also go and see the things that I need to do to it. So here's where it was dispositioned. I can look at that. And I can look at this item and see